This is episode 75 of the Out of the Minds podcast. I'm Sean Oakley. And I am Mr. Not Appearing in this game, Sam Cooper. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so um, unfortunately we don't quite have the game we were hoping for from last week. Uh, well, for this week, should I say, that we mentioned last week. Uh, but I have managed to drag someone else in. So this week we have a game between myself and Mr. Chris Burnett. Uh, and it is yes. Republic versus Rebels. Yay! Two jousting blocks attack. Yeah. Uh, so on that note, I'll run through my list quite quickly. Um, so I am trying out some of the Siege of Coruscant stuff, uh, as well as some other stuff. Uh, and I have got the two four-point arcs, uh, Wolf and Jag. Um, Wolf comes with Wolf Pack, which allows them to spend any ship with the born for this ability or Plo Koon's target lock as his own. Uh, veteran Tail Gunner and Q7 Droid. Uh, and then Jag has Veteran Tail Gunner, R4P and Synced Console. Uh, I forgot about the Synced Console. That would have come in handy. Um, and his ability is when a friendly ship in his side arc at range 1 to 2 performs an attack, he may acquire a lock on the defender. Um, I have Padme Amidala in the Naboo N1, Spe not specifically for this matchup, but this kind of matchup is where she should shine, um, because her ability is when a ship attacks or defends, if it is in her firing arc, um, then sh you can only mod one focus result. Uh, so hopefully, you know, if you roll two two on those torps, you're I'm mitigating damage. Uh, she comes with Duke, fire control system, R4P, and proton torpedoes. Uh, and then I have got Anakin in the Delta B uh, with Outmaneuver and R7A7. Uh, and oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, interesting like, you don't normally see Anak Delta B Anakin. Well, no, like, my thoughts here are you fly the arcs as a big, jousty, punchy arcs. Um, Padme flies behind them to try and stop mods against the attacks coming in. And then you f you sort of flank with Anakin. And because Anakin's got outmaneuver on, it makes him all the more dangerous. And it's like, give yeah. your opponent tough choices. Whichever kind of one you go for, the jousty or the, the expensive ace, the other one's going to punish you, hopefully. Yeah. It's a good plan. Um, uh, Chris but... has brought... Do you want to run through it? Yeah, I'll run through it. So, could it, uh, I believe this is OG Wedge. Uh, yes, OG Wedge. Original Wedge. Yep. Yeah, OG Wedge with Swarm Tactics, Marksmanship, Proton Torpedoes, and S-Foils. Then we've got Wes Jansen with Proton Torpedoes, and R4 Astromech, and S-Foils. And I believe, is he from Heroes? He is from the Hot Shots and Aces. That's the one. Uh, and and his, uh, Heroes, his, Shots, his ability is really, really tasty, actually. What, what um, is his ability? So he has a charge, recurring. Uh, and when he performs an attack or defends... Afterwards, he can spend a charge to give the attacker defender a jam token. Well, that's quite nice. Yeah, that's that's really nice actually. That can that can just really mess up opposing alpha blocks. Oh yeah. Uh, and then pops Krail in the Y wing with an iron cannon turret, advanced proton torpedo, and an R four astromech. Uh, that is uh, Battle of Yavin. Pops. Yeah, but that's, I think that that sounded like Battle of Yavin yeah. mode. And then we bought Benthic two tubes. With selfless K two S O perceptive co pilot and the pivot wing upgrade, and I believe which two tubes is this? Is he when he gets so, focus, he can pass it off to someone else or something? Yes, he is. Yes, that's the one. Uh, and for anyone who isn't familiar with the uh, Yavin stuff, Pops' ability is when he performs a turret attack, he may re-roll up to two of his blank dice or blank nice. results. So nice, making that ion cannon really completely potent. counters Padme. <laughs> Aha! I can only roll blanks, and you stop me from modding focuses. Yeah. Thus, I must get blanks. That's that's true. And by counters Padme, I mean doesn't interact with Padme in the slightest. Yeah. Um. So we are playing Scramble the Transmissions. Um. And hey. Chris is first player. Um. So Chris has set up his objective, obviously on my side because he has to in the middle, as close to my board edge. As possible. Uh, and I have set mine up on the left hand side, on Chris's side, as far up towards the centre as possible. So they, they basically, you know, it's 
it's the corner of a square. Yeah. You know, down down and left from the centre objective. We've got a chevron. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, a chevron. Um, and then obstacles are basically all clustered on the left-hand side. Um, there's two, well, one large rock, one medium, and three smaller rocks. Uh, sorry, four smaller rocks. Um, uh, the largest rock is in the middle between the two objectives on my side. And then the other four basically dot up in between the other two objectives on the left-hand side. Um, basically, it's almost as close as you could put five rocks to one side. Like, basically, imagine a boot with like the toe facing to the right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Like this, again, I don't know who fa- who likes this more. So, because you've got Anakin, Anakin likes this. Well, this is it. I I, I want. Not, I'm not sure Wolf and Jag like it. Well, my thing is like, I'm not overly afraid of taking the joust here because a, I need to see how well Padme does. This is a testing game. Yeah. So this is a good opportunity to see it. How much like. I expect the alpha to do a lot of damage still, but how much exactly yeah. can I can I take? Yeah. Um and yeah, like Anakin's got some nice maneuverability to be able to zig in and out of those and try and get out maneuver shots where other people can't follow. Um and so that, to that extent, uh, we go to set up. Uh, Chris sets up first, and he sets up uh two tubes basically in the center, uh, opposite the center objective. Uh, it's like, okay, that's fine. Uh, so if he's going to do that, I, the likelihood is he's going to set up the rest of his list there. Um, so I set up Jag just to the right of the bottom objective. It's also just to the right of the large rock. My plan being one straight, one straight, tag that one, turn two, go into the into the joust. Um... He then sets up Pops on the far left, as we're looking at it, his right, um, yeah. which I found quite interesting at the time. Um, I'm guessing wanting to cl- to tag that objective that's to the left of the the vertical stack of rocks. Yeah. Um, so I set up. Jag to the right of, uh, sorry, Jag, Wolf to the right of Jag, so they can just trundle along as a pair because that's what they want to do. Um, I then set up Padme as far right as possible in the corner, uh, facing into the center. My plan being two turns of banks to come in behind the arcs. Yeah. Um, and actually, like I was thinking, I can do like a one bank and then. I can go straight if I need to come in behind with a certain angle. I can do a three bank to get a bit closer if I want. Um, I actually think setting up slightly closer next time yeah. is a better idea, um, as as you will see. Uh, then Chris sets up Wes, uh, basically opposite Jag, um, as far forward in the deployment zone as possible, and wedge behind him. I'm like, alright, cool, we're, we're doing this joust then, let's that's fine. I need to practice it. Uh, and I set up Anakin on the left-hand side. Um, about three ship bases in. It's slightly more centre than where Pops is opposite. But I'm thinking, like, you know, I'm quite happy to take a Y-Wing on one-on-one. Like, it's got an APT, but as long as I stay out of range one, yeah, happy days. Um and because of the the delta dial, like I've got abilities to, uh, I've got the the ability to turn in almost anywhere in these rocks and boost through the gaps and try and get out maneuver shots on the justy justy section of Chris's list. So yeah, uh, that is set up. Uh, I will just say before we get into it, this is a real fun game. Okay. Real, real fun game. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, we start setting dials. Uh, we roll, and I am first player. 
for turn one. Uh, and it we do overlap both I4 and I6. Um, two tubes with K2SO gives himself the calculate and stress. Does a two forward, takes a focus. Um, I do a one straight with both the arcs and the one bank Padme. They all take a focus. Uh, Pops does a two bank in towards the center and takes a focus. Uh, and I believe it's a two straight from Wes and a barrel roll who took one of the focuses, That's passed off two. I'm not sure. Sh- sh- I don't think it is. Maybe a three. Really? Yeah, Maybe a three. Looks like a- um, yeah, and Barrel Rolls, because he's got the fo- one of the focuses passed off from two tubes. Um, Anakin does a five straight. Because I wanted to get in there. Um, I Barrel Roll to the left to get out of the centre arc. Uh, sorry, the, center, the front arc of Pops. Uh, and then reach for a lock and sneakily just have range three. So take a lock onto Pops. Hell yeah. Uh, and Wedge does a three straight and takes a focus. Um... So we go to the engagement. Um, I think Chris swarm tactics up um, Wes, but I don't think it's relevant because I think the only shot is Anakin into Pops at range three. Uh, I roll hit, hit blank. I spend the lock into another blank for two. Uh, Pops rolls nothing. Uh, so two shields gone Chris off. Chris tilts. <laughs> uh, there, was, there was a, a small... I wouldn't say expletive, but uh, yeah, typical. <laughs> uh, so that's the two shields on the Y wing gone, uh, and that is the only shot because the turret doesn't have range. Uh, and we come to turn two. Turn two and mistake one for me. Uh, so, as a bl- blind guess, I don't like Padme's angle at this point. Like I wasn't so. Worried about Padme's angle, although I do wish she was in a bit closer behind. Yeah. Um, but what the way I see it is, I am faced with two choices. the The X wings have come reasonably fast, so I can do my original plan. I can do a one straight. I can go slow. If they go fast, then they'll plink range two or three, and they'll taunt me. Yeah. Or I can go fast and hope that they've gone a two or a three, jump into range one, which, okay, they're still throwing four dice, but at least I'm punching back. Yeah. And they're in Pan Maze R. The problem with that is if I go fast and they go slow, then... The exact same thing happens. The exact same like... thing happens. So, spoilers, I dial in a three straight because it's the fastest um, white manoeuvre. Yeah. Um, and I think, and this is a mistake because we don't end up at range one. So going fast leaves me two things. Either it's good for me and good for Chris because we're both range one, so we're throwing lots of red dice. Yeah. Or it's good for Chris and bad for me because we've hit range two. Um, and he's he's torping me. Whereas if I go slow, it's either... Good for Chris and bad for me because, again, we end up range two or three and he's torping me. Or it's good for me but bad for Chris in the sense that no one's shooting. But we're that little bit closer, which means next turn I can almost guarantee the... Getting in close. Getting close. So going fast now results in two good opportunities for Chris, regardless of what he's done, and one good, one bad for me. Whereas going slow only results in one good one for Chris and one good one for me. So hindsight, hindsight, I should have gone slow. I should have done the one straight. I should have tagged the object. And and also, I think going slow, like I don't don't know how it's going to end up, but we'll find out sure. I feel like going slow gives Padme a chance to catch up. And because if you go fast and Padme can't quite get arc on Wedge or Jensen, then her ability is not helping you and you're just eating a fully modern top. Yeah, wait for that one. Um, Also... If I had tagged the objective this turn, I would have won the game. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So that's that. That is actually a good point um, that I, I've I've thought about and hadn't. I, I like being aggressive and getting in there, but actually, and I talked to Chris about this during the game because we are uh, both practicing for a 
uh, tournament on Saturday that we're going to. Um, admittedly, I won't be flying this because we're not going to have Siege of Corazon in time. But, yeah. Um, so, we roll off. And Chris is first player this turn. Um, and he two tubes the calculate and stress over to Pops. Or K2SO, I say two tubes. Coming from two tubes. Uh, and then it's ja uh, two tubes who does a, I think that's a one straight. No, two straight. Two straight. Yeah, that's a two straight. Two straight. Takes the double focus, gives one to Wedge. Um, I do the three straight with Jag, and I, at, at this point, I'm like, if he's just Realize done... the yeah. error of your ways. If he's done a one, yeah, we're, it's range two yeah. at best, which is, as, for, as far as I'm concerned, as bad as range three, so... Yeah. But there's, no, I don't range have a three is worse for you because he'll get a range bonus on defense. Yeah, that's so true. Really, you want range two. Well, that's true. But well, really, I want range one. But yeah, you you yeah. want range one. But when range one isn't an option, you take range two. Yeah. Uh, so I take the focus. Uh, Pops does a one straight, uh, and claims the left hand objective. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, Wolf does a three. Back. Wolf does a three straight. Takes a focus. Padme does a three bank. I could very consider doing a faster straight maneuver, but I don't think that actually may have helped. No, I, 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 I think the three bank helps, but you get your evade. I think you need to boost. Uh, ah, so I don't. I barrel roll. Okay. Because I was worried that the boost. Yeah, I'll catch um, Wes. But probably takes wedge can dive inside that, whereas I thought the barrel roll I get that little bit further forward and it shifts that arc across. Yeah, I can see that. Um, he then one straights with with Wes and takes a lock onto Jack. Uh, and then I think he does a two straight, two straight? with wedge. Like two straights for both of them. Yeah, uh, maybe two straight for both of them and takes a lock onto Jack. Um. So, I uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm just at this point praying that you know Padme's arc is going to help and the dice and so on and so forth. Um, Anakin does a one bank because I wasn't sure where Pops was going to go, and I was wary. Well, wasn't, I was wary about getting caught in his front arc at range one, even with the boost and barrel roll. So I thought this gives me the more most opportunities to, uh, I suppose, avoid that and react. Um, and if he did something unexpected, then I'm still in range to tag the objective. Yeah. Um, but I flick a force to barrel roll. Uh, barrel roll to the left. Uh, and as li I'm literally on the board edge. Uh, and then I take a target lock onto Pops. Uh, so... Makes sense to me. Start the engagement. Wedge Swarm Tactics up Wes. Uh, Wes shoots into um, Jag with a torp. Definitely in bad mosaic. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately rolls hit, hit, focus, blank. Uh, Re-rolls the focus and the blank into focus, hit. And then... Turns one to a crit, so three, three damage. Uh, I roll one of eight, so into, I take into into focus hit. Did you say no? Sorry, in, into hit blank. Okay, sorry. Right. I was gonna yeah, say like sorry. yeah, yeah. So he ends up with three. Um, yeah. I roll one of eight, so I take two shields, uh, and he jams away my focus. Yep, good old Wes. Which at, at, at that Wes. at that point I was thinking. Hmm, that's okay because I've got the the ship ability, so I can just spend my focus on from um Wolf. Well, and then I remembered it's Wedge. So I'm not actually rolling an evade dice. Ah, yes, that is also yeah. that is that is also a thing. So is. so we check, it's just skip past it on the video, and Wedge is just outside of Padme's arc. Is he about to roll like four focuses? He rolls crit. Um, focus, focus, and I can't remember. What, uh, I think the top one's a crit hit. as well, actually. Oh, crit. Yeah. Um, so it ends up with one hit and three crits that Oof. just go straight through. Um, it might have been a hit, but marksmanship turns it to a crit, actually. So it's yeah, it's one hit and three crits. So I lose the shield and take three crits. 
Uh, one of them's a d- uh, direct yeah. hit, and a damage sensor ray, and a blinded pilot. Ouch. So, yeah. Um, not, not ideal. Um, down to two health, and two tubes still gets to shoot. Um, so we go to my shooting, uh, and Anakin does the range two into pops. Uh, rolls hit hit blank, re-rolls the blank into a blank for two. Uh, pops rolls nothing and takes two damage. Um, then we go to his four because no, sorry, yeah, it should be his four. Um, he ion cannons out the side. Uh, and re-rolls for three hits. I get one of eight, so I take a damage and I gain an ion. Which I'm actually okay with here. Um, I'm honestly a little surprised you didn't R7A7 one of those um, hits you got into. Yeah, I, pro- I, pro- I probably should have. Um, I would probably still thinking about the arcs rather than Anakin. I possibly, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I take a damage in an arm, which I'm kind of okay with because either I'm going to end up behind Pops, or we're going to probably end up at range zero. There's not really any other option, so yeah. that's that's fine. Um, so we go to my falls. Padme does a range three into Wes. Uh, I roll focus blank, so there's that. Not that. Uh, but Jack acquires a lock that he can't actually can't spend, but Wolf can. That's so, true. so that's why I got that. Uh, and Wolf can console it. Uh, I could have. Wolf um, goes range two into Wes. Uh, I roll crit, focus blank. I spend his charge on the blank to re-roll it into a blank, and spend the focus for hit crit. Uh, and he rolls. Of those. Sorry. You're doing a lot of those blank into blanks this game. Yeah. Uh, and Chris rolls one of eight, so that's one shield plinked off Wes. Uh, Jack then goes into Wes as well. Uh, rolls focus, focus, blank. Can't mod, because blinded pilot. And I, what I should have done there was passed off that lock to Padme. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really good. That Absolutely. Would, yeah, because, spoilers, Padme, I don't think, fires a torp because I never have the opportunity to get a lock. Yeah. Yeah, I should have passed it off there because good chance Jag dies, so there's three dice coming in from from two tubes. So, yeah, missed, missed moment there. Got to, got to remember that there are actually some upgrades on those t- quick build cards, so. Yeah. And also, it's not just a filler upgrade. That yeah, are no, it's these a, days. It, no. Ja- all the jags, to be fair, are actually quite, quite prevalent. Yeah, but I mean, like in the in the current state of X Wing, there tends to be a lot of filler one point upgrades. Yeah, but sync console is not filler; it is extremely useful a lot of the time. Yeah, especially when you've got a ship with torps hanging out right next to you. Exactly. Um, yeah. So two tubes uh, get rolls crit crit hit out of okay. hand. Um. I roll an evade, but I take crit crit and die. All right. So that's four points to Chris, plus the point for the objective. Ooh. So five zero at the end of turn two. Ooh. It's all right. Anakin can carry. And I'm like, okay, it's, this is not ideal. Um, yeah. So a bit, a bit better planning. Padme would have had wedge in range. Would have, you know, may not have made the difference. He might have rolled something yeah. different. Um, but actually, if I'd had, if I'd got it so we were closer, and uh, Padme's in range to pick up the lock on that initial engage, then maybe they both shoot Padme and kill her because they're like, "Cripes, I don't want to take that tour. I, I don't want to a deal with the tour and b deal with the bull crap. Yeah, but that means the two arcs are untouched, and that's probably yeah. a better continuation, a, a better mid game for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, not ideal. Um, no. But now I'm kind of thinking, right? I can't just like one straight with Padme because she's gonna get eaten alive. 
Um, and I kind of need to... I need to get something in my rear arc with Wolf so that I can get throw an extra dice out of the back, get my charge back, because I've lost yeah. Jag's ability to have a lock from, you know, for Wolf to use yeah. and and stuff. I mean, my, my gut reaction is, like, either too hard to the left or too banked to the left with Wolf. So I done in a three bank to the left. Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, I just want to get up there a little bit further in case, like, uh, two tubes does a one bank or something. It might yeah. slide past. Um, Anakin with his R and he's doing a one bank to the right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Keep um, on shooting, young boy. So we roll off and it's Chris again. Uh, he K2SOs to Wedge. Uh, and then I think he does a two bank with... Um, yeah, he's trying to get in the way. With with the Y-Wing, yeah. And takes a focus, gives one to Wes. The U-Wing, you mean? Uh, yeah, sorry, the U-Wing. Um, Don't worry, Minty, I got you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, try I'm, I'm concentrating on not calling Wedge and Wes the wrong way round, so... Uh, <laughs> um, the Y-Wing does a one straight. Yeah, um, just keeping that eye on cannon and yeah. the Anakin. Um... Fine, uh, and I believe takes the focus. Uh, I do do the three bank, which nicely slides past everybody, sits in the middle, um, and I believe I should be... claim the center objective. Nice. That should lead to be a nice, nice double tap this round. I that's reckon. that's what I'm hoping. Uh, and then I three bank to the right with Padme. So I wanted to try and do something a little unexpected, I suppose, like yeah. diverge her away from from um, Wolf. Uh, she gets a free evade. Uh, I, and I do I'm not, just, I, do, I say I am not I'm about sitting the there and grabbing a lock now. Uh, but I do decide I can't sit in two tubes of arc, so I boost to the left. Yeah. yeah, like I feel like at this point worrying about the lock is whatever. Like if you get if you get the opportunity to take the lock and a nice free shot, take it. But this is this, Padme just needs to live yeah. for a bit. Um so Wes does a one straight. Uh, and then I believe boosts away and wedge bumps and doesn't take the focus. And Anakin does his one bank uh, and takes the focus. Yeah. Um, so wedge what? swarm tactics two tubes who has no shot. Uh, wedge then takes the range zero into wolf and rolls hit crit crit. For that nice Wolf gets uh, an evade. Un unmodded range range zero shot. Uh, yeah, Wolf gets yeah. an evade. Uh, so takes two shields. Um, and then this is Anakin, range one into pops. Uh, and I get three focuses and a blank. I spend the focus and R7A7 for two and a crit. Uh, Pops rolls on evade. Uh, and takes a fuel leak. All right, so Pops is basically running out of running out of steam. Yeah, he's on two. Uh, with a fuel leak. Uh, he it then goes to Pops, who does the range one ion cannon into Anakin. Uh, he rolls one hit and th three blanks. So he re-rolls he re two of them into hit blank. So two hits. Uh, I roll focus, focus, and I burn two force for two of those. Yeah, makes sense. I did con I did consider only burning one so that I take the damage but not the ion, try and conserve a bit of force. But I thought, no. no I, think, yeah. I think here you need to just blank the damage because with two shield and three hull, you have a safety net for a torpedo. Yeah. With one shield and three hull, you don't have a safety net for a torpedo. Yeah. Okay, don't get me wrong. One shield is not exactly the greatest safety net, but at least in theory, you can't just get one shot. Yeah, no, no, I know exactly what you mean. Hence yeah. the um, yeah, why why I burn it. Uh, Wolf then takes a range three out the front into Pops, uh, yeah. and I roll hit focus blank. Uh, Pops rolls a blank and a blank, so takes one damage. So on one. Slowly dying. On one, uh, and then I veteran tail gunner out the back into Wes. Spend the charge to get the third dice and roll trail mix again. Uh, and there's an evade, so no damage there. 
Uh, and, and that is it for shots. Nope, that's it for shots. Uh, so Chris nets another point. Uh, and I net a point. So 6 1. And I think next turn is another slight mistake. But we will get to that. In fact, actually, it's a super duper mistake, but we'll get to that. All right. So I'm going to make my calls. So here, I reckon. Uh, I reckon Wolf uh, wants to one bank to the left, maybe try and try and line up the shot of the pops. Hand may three yard to the left, just try and stay stay relevant but not in danger. And Anakin one bank to the left. I do. Can't quite see if he goes past that rock. I do. So I can't straight it. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think I can even do a fast straight to. Yeah, okay. To jump over it. I think the template goes over it. Uh, I do one of those things. Ooh, okay, let's see. And ironically, the one one I do is the one one I think is a mistake. Okay. But we will we will get to that. And I'm not making any calls on what Chris is doing, because I don't really know uh, how he does that. But so, well, there we go. We roll off, and Chris is first player. And he K2SOs the calculate to Pops again. Uh, and then I believe he does a two hard with um two tubes um trying to chase down padme uh takes focus gives one to wedge um pops does a two hard oh nice um and takes a lock onto wolf who then does a 4k okay so this is yeah, that was what I was gonna call. Yeah, no, no, this is mistake number one. Um, yeah, and I think you're right because although it lines up the front again, which is what I was trying to do initially at the time, I think actually doing like something like a one bank or maybe even the two hard yeah. would have been better because I can still pops was always going to be somewhere um, in that Absolutely. vicinity. And then I can, because of the wolf's ability, he's effectively got the same out the back. So I could have just done, even if it's a range zero into pops, and then veteran tail gunned out the back, got the extra dice, in, shot somebody. Yeah, into Benthic or whoever, right? <laughs> and what I could have done in this exact scenario, after he's taken the lock, the lock from me, is if that one bank had fit and it wasn't range zero, I probably could have squeezed in a barrel roll. Yeah. And got out that front arc. So yeah, I could take a range one ion turret, but that's only doing one uh, damage and no APT. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and I've realised the one one that I do that you said isn't a mistake. I was misremembering. But we, okay. will, we will get to that. Uh, so yeah, so I take a four, do a 4k, take a stress. Uh, Padme does do the three hard. Um, Takes the evade. Uh, and so this is... a. So I, here, I, I think mm, I yeah. look at this for an ages because I want to see if that boost squeezes past wedge. I can't afford to boost right because I need to keep the arc that direction. I could focus or take a lock. Um, but I attempt the boost. You can see me looking at it a load. Uh, I attempt the boost and it fails. It just catches the nubs. Ooh, that's awkward. So. Yeah. Uh, so that looks like... Wes, Wes does the two hard. Yeah, does the two hard. Has he flipped his wings? He has flipped his wings, but he so. just takes yeah. a lock. Uh, and then Wedge does a talon. Ooh, okay. Wedge does a talon, takes stress. And I won hard with Anakin. Okay. And claim the objective. I so nearly put in the one bank. I so nearly put in the one bank. And... The thing that dissuaded me from doing the one bank, and this sounds really silly in hindsight, is I could have one bank, and then I didn't think I could target lot. Uh, target, I boost through into the main field if I needed to, and that was so silly because if I'd done a one bank, even if it had been obstructed into pops, out maneuver would have been online. Yeah. So that nullifies that. It's still three on one. He's got one health left. Yeah. I initiative kill him. And if you can initiative kill him, he doesn't get to APT. Exactly. I yeah. Yeah, so true mistake. But there we go. But and you're I've... also lined up to going after Wedge. 
quite nice. Well, I wasn't. Bank, I reckon. I wasn't overly. Like, yeah, I, that, that's in hindsight. Yeah, like, I wasn't overly in, in concerned high, about hindsight, that then, no. because. My next manoeuvre, spoilers, I can one hard to the right and then just barrel roll yeah. whichever way I need to. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But what it has done is I'm now 2-0 up on objectives. So at That's least true. it's sort of stemming a little bit of the bleed of me losing ships. Um, so... We go... And I'm guessing that his swarm tactics um, pops up to I six. So actually, I couldn't. Oh yeah, that's the point. I but couldn't initiative kill him. That is true. Uh, but you could have. But you would have been basically a guaranteed kill because Padme's shot is not guaranteed. Yeah. Um, Wedge shoots into Wolf. Uh, gets one hit, one focus, one blank. Spends the focus and marksman ships. So hit crit. Uh, which goes straight go straight through, and I pull a panic pilot because Wait, every yeah, time is. I take a crit after doing a red maneuver, it's always a panic pilot. I mean, it is it is built into the laws of X wing, so don't worry yeah. about it. Uh, and here comes the APT. Uh, oh, we boy. we check Padme's arc uh, and many it, focuses. It is so Ooh. crit focus focus blank blank. You know what? That's not a bad. Now, I have to explain a little bit here, because Chris is talking about spending the lock and the focuses. So if you spend the target lock on one of those focuses, that is modding that focus. Yes. Which means you cannot... You can only mod one. Yeah, which means you cannot mod any other focus results, even if you re-roll them all. Um, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I was, I was explaining that, um, because it is a mod. Um, yeah. So it's like, you know, he can't re-roll all four. So I'm not taking five damage. That's that's yeah. guaranteed, unless it's a direct, obviously. Um, yeah, here you go, checking the arc. Uh, we're talking about it. So he, I think he re-rolls... Oh, yeah, because I also had to explain that if you do re-roll that, you can't then spend your calculate afterwards. Yeah. So, so, so the thing is, for me, here I, you spend the calculate and re-roll the blanks. That, then to me, this isn't even a question, because the, the calculate is a guaranteed hit, and the blanks, who knows what they'll be. Well, I mean... It's not... It, you only have one calculate anyway. For me... For, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, because I suppose you can't re-roll three of them and then spend the calculate on the other one. Um, yeah. So I think he just re-rolls the blanks. Uh, no, he re-rolls... I don't know if he does. He re-rolls the two blanks and the focus into two blanks and a focus. So that's it. One crit's going through. Well, so, maybe going through. Well, uh, yeah, I've got a shield. So, oh no, maybe I didn't take that shield. No, uh, you, you took yeah. a panic pilot, right? Yeah, so... yeah, that's right. I, sorry, I haven't updated the overlay yet. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that APT is one crit, and that yeah. is down to Padme. So... And yeah, and this is why I think Padme is your best option. But spoiler alert: we were talking about list building, and he gave me a list of random five cost things, and I was like, Padme, because it just neuters a lot of things. That yeah. people don't expect. Um, I take the crit. It's a direct, which I'm not going to complain about after taking one crit from an APT. Yeah. Uh, so is, that is bad me sometimes. Uh, so Wolf is down it's to basically like Kanan. Yeah, Wolf is down to three. Um, here comes but gets to shoot, but gets to shoot. Here comes mistake number, well, whatever mistake number we're on now. Uh, I've got a range 2 into Wedge with Padme, and I've got a range 3 into um, Pops, uh, and I shoot Wedge. Why? In hindsight, I don't know, because the range... I mean, I guess he doesn't have a defensive mod, so Duke will... Yeah. Um, oh god, did I forget to Duke him? Um... Yeah, I should have juked. Oh no! Yeah, uh, yeah I should have juked him because then <laughs> yeah, I would have put. Yeah, you Ugh! But no, I still, I still, the mistake wasn't forgetting to juke him. The mistake was not shooting the one health, um, thing because Wolf yeah. doesn't have. Oh no, that's why. It's because Wolf doesn't have a shot, and I wanted to concentrate fire. But I don't think that's the right. I don't think that's a good enough reason. No. Like um, Wolf has to roll out of his mind. Uh, for this to actually be relevant into Wedge. Right? And what, what I should have done to help the situation is shot Wolf first. Yeah. yeah. Because if, if, if Wolf does shoot out his mind and like strips the shields and puts a crit through and it's something like a structural damage or something like that, you know, then yeah, maybe yeah. you shoot with shoot with Wedge. Um, but yeah. So 
didn't do very good target priority this turn. Uh, Wolf rolls one hit and two blanks. I opt not to spend his charge. Again, I think this is a mistake. Because my thinking at the time was, well, I save it for next turn, where hopefully I can get in close to that U-Wing. I've got a range one shot. Yeah. I can spend his charge. I can veteran tail gunner into probably the Y-Wing or probably Wedge. Um, but actually, on three health... I don't think you get a shot. I don't think I get... Exactly. I don't think I get a shot. Wedge so, just has to too hard target lock and Wolf is probably dead. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's the end of the round. Um, no, it's not. I preemptively add the points because two tubes... Did two tubes shoot? Or did we just miss two tubes? Two tubes get... <laughs> just not shoot. Did we not shoot yeah, two tubes? Yeah, two tubes just didn't shoot. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> All right. Chris, if you're listening to this or watching it back, we forgot. It was just like, doing, I declined to shoot. All, all the talk about Pad, Padme's ability has far-reaching effects. She makes your opponent just not shoot her. Uh, so I do get two objective points that turn, which puts me 3-6 behind. Uh, we roll off and Chris is first player again. Uh, this does stop soon. Um, Alright, so I feel like this game is like one shot each off being 10-7, because Pops is on one and Wolf is on three, but in the face of the, Wes has a torp and Wedge exists. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> um, so it's two tubes first, who does a, I think, two hard and bumps into Padme. Takes the red focus, gets two of them because yeah, of perceptive, passes one to Wedge. Uh... Pops does a 4k. Nice, I like it. Uh, I do a 3 bank with... Um, Padme. Padme. Uh, and make a bad mistake I here. Have, I have no idea what move your <laughs> arc is now. So I dialed in a 2 straight. Because okay. it's the fastest blue. And actually what I should have done was dialed in a 3 straight. I've got three stress yeah. and three health. I'm probably not you're getting not, you, another you action. I should have dialed like, in a three you, you, straight. You, you, yeah. What I should have done here with Padme, she gets a free evade. Um, I should have barrel rolled in towards Wolf. Yeah, to make sure it clears. Because right now Wolf doesn't clip Padme, no. right? And, and I knew Wolf doesn't um, clip Padme. Uh, and like, you know, I knew that not, not moving is that bump. Um... And, and what it does, it what my thinking at the time was it gets a range one shot onto Wedge. And I'm hoping that I clip Pops out the rear. Um, right. So I take the focus. Um, okay. You know, I know Wedge is going to get a shot, but I'm hoping that the only mod he's got is a... Or might have as a focus. And hopefully Padme will new to that. Uh, I do the debump. I roll. I don't take a damage. Clear one stress. <laughs> Don't have pops in the rear arc. Don't have yeah, wedge in the front arc. You don't have wedge in the front arc either. No. So well, wedge has still got to move. So who yeah. knows? Um. So Jansen opens his foils. Does a I think three hard that was. Yeah, that looks like three hard and target locks wolf. So Chris arms and ours here because he's got a lock onto Padme, who he's got in arc, and he arms and ours what to do, and in the end he just takes the focus. I can see that. He was talking about moving the lock. Um, wedge one straights and bumps. I mean, if he knows this is going to happen, then I guess that makes sense, because wedge, wedge is about to ruin yeah. uh, the day. But hey, does, Swarm Tactics offline. Yeah. Uh, doesn't take the red focus, because he's already got one, so jobs are yeah, good. Uh, and then Akin does a one hard. Now, I don't know if this is a mistake, but... Arrow roll to the right. Now... I barrel roll to the right for the outmaneuver shot onto Wedge. Yeah. But if I'd stayed where I was, I kill Pops. I think I think you've got I think you've got two shots on Wedge, and this time is the time to take the two shots on Wedge, because Anakin's shot is just that much more. But dangerous. one of them's range zero. One of them is range zero, that's true, but And like I yeah, I don't know. I, I I think 
barrel to the right uh, and focus is the play here. So I've got full force. So although, I... although I guess, although, although I guess, wolfing on one health, maybe they should just snap up the points. Yeah. So uh, so I barrel roll to the right. I take a lock. Yeah. Um, because I want to punch as much. If I, if I'm going to do it, I want to punch as much damage yeah. through as I possibly can. <coughs> Uh, we check Swarm Tactics, and no one's there. Wedge gets a range one shot into Wolf. He rolls one focus and three blanks. Alright. Alright, that's... You can nod one of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, <they> can't <laughs> uh, and he does spend it, and it's a crit because of marksmanship. Uh, and the crit yep. is a disabled power regulator. Okay. Uh, Anakin has the range two outmaneuver shot into Wedge. Uh, I roll two hits and a eyeball. I spend a force, uh, and like an idiot, I, I was going to R seven A seven it. Then I decide not to because of the two shields. But actually, with one green dice, I should have. Because yeah, if he rolls anything that isn't an evade, it goes through. Uh, and my yeah. thought was, no, he'll roll an evade. It'll be it'll go on the shields. It's a waste. Uh, but he rolls a focus, so it does. I put a damage through, which could have been a crit. <coughs> so. Plus, I think I've only spent, like, one of them so far, so... Yeah, you spent one of them. Uh... I might as well spend them while I have the opportunity. Because I'm pretty sure I end this game with one of them left. So... Yeah. Uh, but I have taken the shields and one damage off Wedge. So... Happy days. Um, Jansen? Um, Arms and I has got three into Wolf. Um, or he's got the he's Torp. Got into Padme, uh, he does talk Padme. Uh, ends up with a full string, two hits, two crits. Uh, I roll two focuses, so I spend my focus token uh, and take it on the shields. Uh, he then jams me, so I lose the evade. Yeah, nice. Um, then we go to his four, who does the range one shot into Wolf. Rolls hit focus blank, uh, and I roll an evade. So wolf lives. Wolf lives. Well, maybe. Um, there, there is the there is the tubes of two. I do the range zero into wedge from Padme uh, for two hits. Wedge rolls two focuses, so wedge is on one. Wedge could be dead. Yeah, with depending on what that crit might have been. Yeah. Yeah. Now, wouldn't that have been a spicy change to this game? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, like, with stuff like R7A7, when you get the opportunity, use it. Yeah. I reckon just... Like, if, it, if it had been like, like a fire spray that's got four shields, fine, but yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah. But... Two with an outmaneuver shot? Yeah, should have. Should have done that. Uh, Wolf has a range two shot into um, two tubes. Uh, I roll three focuses. Uh, Ooh, I I spend my charge because I think I'm going to die, uh, and I roll it into one hit. Uh, and there's one evade. Don't forget the ion token. What? Oh, it's fine. We disable we... power. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> we wait until two shoots his shot first. Uh, here goes range two back. Uh, rolls crit focus blank. Spends the focus for hit crit. I roll nada. Wolfstead. Uh oh. 10, 5. 10, okay. 5. But you're about to get 2, so I'm about 10, to get, 7. I'm about to get 2, so 10, 7. Uh, spoilers, this game ends within a point. Yeah. So right now, my gut is Padme should book it down to that bottom point. Oh, have I not added points here? Nope, because we're still at 10, 5. Oh, <laughs> well that's interesting, isn't it? Looks like. Do you just, do you, do looks you like. Not add your. Nope. Looks like I forgot to add. Add points. the points. So, moral victory. I technically won by a point. Spoil hey, te spoilers. Technically, you win by a point. Spoilers, okay. but that's fine. That, I mean, we forgot. We forgot. But that's. Were this, a, were this a tournament? That's not the result that would have been recorded. Though. Well, no, no, no. Exactly. Like. Yeah. That's fine. Um, I think I feel like this falls under the remember your triggers part. It's like you you've spent actions to acquire sensors. Yeah, yeah. But they exist. Unless I do it in a minute, I may well do it in a minute. Nope, I don't do it in a minute. Uh, so we are on the next turn. We're on the next turn, uh, and I'm first player this turn. Uh, 
two shoots, gives the calculating stress to Wes, and then does a the thing that was a too hard. Yeah, that looks like yeah. too hard. Uh, gets his double focus. Or one bank, but either way. Uh, or one bank. Uh, gets double focus, gives one to Pops. Um, so, Padme, I want to see a three bank down to that bottom point because you're not winning by killing. You're 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 catching up on objectives and hoping that Anakin doesn't die. Bad mate, that's a three hard. That's, that's, you know what, that's close enough. Now boost. Takes an evade and boosts. Yeah. I, I, I'm already on it. She's going for that bottom objective. <laughs> Ironically, forgetting that trigger, uh, to, forgetting to add my points that turn, apparently, but also her going for this bottom objective semi costs me this game. Oh, really? Okay. Like, yes and no. Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Now, uh, there is a two straight from the Y-Wing. Uh, get rid of the stress. Uh, and he claims the centre objective. Ooh. Um, so if I killed him last turn, he couldn't have done that. Yes, but hindsight, when oh, yeah, no, no. won. Yeah, yeah, no. So I, I get that. Admit- admittedly, none of this matters unless unless they die, but I think that the damage into Wedge is worth it. It is a two bank from the X-Wing. Uh, who ditches stress and then barrel rolls? Uh, I think trying to get Padme into arc. Yeah, makes sense. Now I, I had a. What do I do with Anakin here? Because I kind of want to be behind Wedge to try and get a shot into him and and uh, you know take that one damage off. But I was also like, I'm probably going to get shot at by a lot of ships if I do that. Um, I did consider. Banking in towards the center and trying to shoot away. I'm sorry. Um, but in the end, I opt for the go fast. So Anakin's doing a five straight, which I'm looking at this going, oh, I think I probably just bump Maybe. into a wedge here. No, I think you clear wedge. I think I it's, think you slam. I, it's slap ooh. in the middle. Slap in the middle. Yeah, so I would have called that you slam into two tubes. Yeah, no, it just misses two tubes. Uh, so we go full Anakin here. Uh, and we boost to the right for a force with fine tuned. We then barrel roll out of Wes's arc. Nice. For the range one. Out maneuver shot. <laughs> you're gonna get them all to one health. <laughs> like this is the, this is the, seems to be the style you're going for. It's like if I get all of Chris's ships to one health, even Padme can kill them. <laughs> um Wedge does I think it was a two a three bank actually three to, uh, oh, to to yeah, to disengage. Uh and uh, closes foils and boosts away. Uh, I do the range one shot. I roll two focuses, a blank and a hit. Uh, I don't spend my force. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Um, because I I think I'll have better opportunities next turn. Um, he rolls an eyeball and spends the calculate. Wes has no shot. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for shots. That's it. Uh, so I claim one and Chris claims one. Yeah, you just you just forgot to add your two points. That's yeah. literally... Yeah. Well, I didn't even notice that during the game. Uh, so it is six eleven. Um, I do notice that Chris hasn't added his, so I'll add his in a minute. Oh, this is where we go. Right, no. So it gets to a minute where we end up at different points that we'll get to, and I notice that Chris is one behind. And I was like, well, on the overlay, I've got you one ahead. And it is the yeah. overlay that's right. So we alter it to match the overlay. So that's that's yeah. fine. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, we roll off, and Chris is first player again. Although the sixes aren't really duking it out, so it doesn't hugely matter this turn. Yeah. Um, two tubes, no K to SO this turn. Uh, closes his wings, does a stop, and rotates down. Yep, I like that. Uh, Pops does, I think, a two oh, straight. Two straight. Yep. It looks like a two straight. Um. Chris doesn't think he's in range of the right-hand objective, so he just rotates his turret. Padme does a three hard. Claims the objective at the bottom with and gets a free of eight. Yeah. Where's... So I feel like we should harken back to turn two, where this could have been your objective the entire time. Yeah, exactly. So that would have netted me one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six points. Yeah. Including this round. Oh, so sorry. So five more points than I had, which would have us tied on eleven eleven. Uh, actually, technically, you would be a 
13 11. Well, yes, That's if I hadn't have forgotten those two <laughs> points, I would have been 13. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the mistakes I make generally add, forgetting to add the uh, objective points is not one of them. Yeah. Um, I, I, honestly, it's probably just absorbed in the game. You can safely say, as Droid Swarm player, I have my eye on objective points at all times. I, we're just getting so into it. It was a really fun game yeah. to play. Um, yeah, no, it looks like it's good. Like, Anakin looked like he's about to go total someone. Uh, Wes does a 4K. Uh, and I won. Oh, uh, Wedge does a two hard and then boosts round towards that bottom objective. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of like, turn. I'm kind of like, okay, I can, I'm all right with that. I can see what's happening. Basically, my my general game plan is to send Padme up there and try and finish him off. Okay. Um. Or the Y wing. Um. But anyway, this getting back to this turn, I do a one hard with um. with Anakin. Um, I don't really like where I am. So yeah, I spend a force to do a boost. I then barrel roll and I've dodged Wes's arc. So at least I'm just taking the shot from the U-Wing. Yeah, and it's unmodded. It's unmodded. Um, I've got a force. I've got a shot into Pops. So... We can finally finish him off. Yeah, about two turns too late. Uh, I do take the... It's range three shot. Uh, I roll three hits. So he's dead. Yeah. Happy days. Uh, so 10, 10, well, 10, 11. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. Uh, three hits from the U Wing. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I roll focus blank. Uh, so I. Um, spend your last I spend force. I spend my last force and I lose my other two shields. And in a roundabout way, this, I'll say, this is kind of. Not, I suppose cost me the game. Quite a few things have costed me the game, but that that's important. Let's put it that yeah. way. Um, put it this way. I remember when you were considering saving your force to uh, yeah, you will. take the damage on the shield. Yeah, that would feel a lot worse now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to going to the next turn and I kind of think I, you know I gotta kill Wedge so yeah. luckily you know Anakin's already got a lock on him so if yeah I, that's true actually if I can just get in there then yeah happy days if I get in there on second player then great um so we've clocked Padme, we've clocked the discrepancy hearts. and um yeah back to so 12-12 with 17 minutes left uh, yeah, Padme does do a three hard, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, Anakin, I kind of have to... Wedge can either go straight and claim that objective, or he can turn in. And I kind of need yeah. to put Anakin in a position where... I mean, either I go first and I have a wide enough arc to try and catch Wedge... Or I go second and I've got options to reposition as yeah. as I need. Um, so Here's a, a fun thing. Yeah? Did you ever consider just moving Anakin towards the centre and cloning that centre objective? Because you'll move after Wes and Benthic, so it's it's pretty much guaranteed depending on where their arcs end up. So I did consider it. Um, and I was, But I was concerned that the um, the U-Wing just what and banks takes a self-bump and gets a range one shot into yeah. me. Uh, actually, because I, the, the reason I was thinking is like, could you not like, I don't know, two bank force boost claim? So spoilers, I three bank. Okay. And I think actually, I still could have claimed the claimed the objective, which would have won me the game. Actually, again, uh, man, so many things I could have. So done many things me. would have won you the game. It, but they're all the little things. Remembering you know, your like... points. <laughs> okay. You're not you're not gonna let that one go, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna let that one go. <laughs> That's, that's, pretty, that's a pretty big one. <laughs> uh, so we go to to the start of the round, and this is a turn I needed to go second. So unsurprisingly, I'm going first. Um, and uh, two troops opens the springs and does a one straight. Gets two focuses. Uh, gets two focuses. Doesn't get two focuses. He jams you. Uh, he jammed me, uh, which removes Anakin's lock. 
Padme does a three hard and boosts. Trying to get in there. Um, actually, that boost may have screwed me as well. But um, yeah, great hindsight. Uh, a two hard bump into Anakin from Wes. Um, a three bank from Anakin. And actually, you probably should have claimed the objective. Yeah, I think you claim it. Uh, but I took a focus because I wasn't sure what Wedge was doing. One force. Yeah. Wedge does it too hard, opens his wings, thinks about claiming the objective, takes a target lock onto Anakin. So Anakin shoots first. Uh, three. Uh, I roll hit hit blank. So yeah, I should have claimed that objective. R seven A seven. Uh, I do R. for hit crit. Wedge rolls two blanks. Wedge, Wedge be dead. dead. And Anakin dies. Uh, he does not take a um, weapons failure, which is kind of the only thing that's actually blinded pilot would have been blinded pilot would have hurt him really badly. Wedge fires his torp. Uh, and rolls four hits out of hand. Oh, well. Sometimes that just happens. Uh, oh, and it has a blinded pilot. Sorry, one was a blinded pilot. So, yeah. Takes the blinded pilot and rolls four hits out of hand. It's Wedge, so I'm down a dice. Which means Anakin's dead. Doesn't matter what yeah. I roll. He's taking the three. Um, he rolls a focus. I spend the focus. But I could have spent the force there if I hadn't have had it. And claimed that objective. Um, so, yeah. Anakin and... Wedge both die. So it's currently 1918 in Chris's favour. Uh, two tubes has a shot. Range three into Padme. Uh, I spend my evade. Roll on evade. Happy days. I score two. Chris scores one. It's 2020. So, Damn. yeah. If I'd remember the two points from earlier, I would have had it. Um, if I'd claimed that objective, I would have had it. Yeah. And we go into the last round. Yeah. yeah, we go into this round. I don't have a way to win. Yeah. The, you just There is no chance. You fall straight, west down, claim that bottom objective. I have no way to get Padme into the centre objective. Yeah. If I'd not done the boost, maybe... Yeah, yeah but I, I actually think... At this point, the boost on Padme doesn't matter. The, the, the move that lost you the game was not claiming the centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, or adding like, the points, I, like, or a hundred yeah, other or, things. Or adding, the, like, adding the points. Like, it, if, assuming the points get forever lost, like, I think at this point, no matter what you do with Padme, it doesn't matter. Like, the game needed to end last turn. Yeah. And Padme just needed to try and get that shot, right? Yeah. So I, if, and pa if Padme doesn't boost, there's no chance of the shot. But the boost gave you the, gave you the, the option. Yeah, um, I think the 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 mistake was you not claiming the objective and just being like, because like, because I think if if you claim the center objective and Wedge and Wedge turns in, maybe Chris actually thinks actually I need to claim this objective rather than going for the torp into Anakin. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, then maybe Wedge dies and Anakin doesn't. So yeah, but lots of lots of maybes. But, yeah, yeah, ex exactly. But that's why we play this game. Uh, yeah. So Chris does do the full straight. The other moves are all irrelevant. Uh, it ends twenty one to twenty two uh, in Chris's favour. Uh, and I spend the next couple of minutes working out if there was any manoeuvre I could have done with Padme that got her in range of one of the two unclaimed things, and there are not. No, not a chance. And uh, yeah, so it, it was a really fun game though, like swingy. Yeah. Um, there was quite a lot of blanks into blanks on both sides. We did look at the dice stats. Yeah. We were both minus. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think the dice were no, particularly bad. Either, they though. weren't. Although the four out of hand on the blinded pilot, but I mean, yeah, but it happens. You are, but you're right. Like claiming that objective would have negated negated that because it either I, either he takes the same lock and torp and kills Anakin but I score an extra point so it ends up 21-20 or 
Or, as you say, he claims that objective, doesn't take the log, then he's only throwing three dice. Yeah. And even if he um, scores all three, I've got to... I've got a chance, you know, on my one dice, if it's paint, I live. Yeah. So... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, rolling back to turn zero, I do wonder, with uh, that objective so far in your deployment, when you set up the arcs, maybe setting them up going along your board edge so you can, like, do a one straight and then turn in to go towards the centre and claim that turn, and so you're just a little bit further back. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad Because ideally, you want the engagement to happen in the middle, so it's awkward to come back. Because, like you said, Padme coming back to claim the objective puts her out for a few turns. Yeah. And on the flip side, Chris having to send Wes for a few turns out may have uh, changed everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose the flip... The, the worry I have, though, is I think doing a, a slow manoeuvre, a slow manoeuvre, gives me the the better chance of jumping those arcs into range one. Because yeah. doing... Right, the, what I was thinking is just like, you set up facing along your board edge, you one straight the first turn, and then just two hard the next turn to get to essentially where you would have been if you had one straighted, one straighted. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. 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 The, I suppose the issue with... Or not the issue. My thoughts on that are uh, it kind of telegraphs to your opponent. So if your opponent's done a, a semi-fast move turn yeah. one, like a two or a, a three, with the X-Wings, he can jump in with a four the next turn and know, yeah. know he's likely to get that torp off. Whereas by... Yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. By going straight, even, you know, the one straight turn one, there is the, I could jump in... Um. You know, maybe even maybe what I should have done was done the four straight and accept no action because Jack's going to acquire a lock anyway. Yeah, but I think I think if you are going to commit to trying to get in close, you needed to fully commit. Yeah, because like the flip side of that is is if like Chris knows what moves the arc can do and knows ranges, like um, uh, what a two uh, you did a, a one straight three straight. Yeah. Like, if Chris has done a, a two straight, two straight, like, he knows that's range two. Yeah. Or three ish. Depending on where they started. Yeah. So, like, that, so it's, it's sort of like the same thing as, like, there still is not really a threat to getting range one. So you may as well, you may as well just completely slow roll it and try and get the engagement in the center of the battle. Uh, that way, Anakin is essentially coming in behind them. Yeah. Yeah. After, after he's dealt with Pops. But that's hindsight. Um, like, my, I guess my takeaway of this is like, when you're given a free objective on Scramble, just take it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I mean, like, Jack's focus was irrelevant anyway. It got jammed away. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But no, it it's fun. Um, I quite four point arcs are good, even when they die. Um. I mean, they're okay because they're only four points. Exactly. So yeah, it, it's fun. I think I'll be flying a fair bit of Republic. Um, so yeah. See, won't be flying it Saturday, as we say, because unfortunately the stuff won't be here. Um, I think the next tournament I'm looking at is Sith Takers in February, so plenty, yeah. plenty of time to actually practice some stuff and try and nail some stuff down. Let's see what we've got there. So um, I'm very happy with my Plasma Swarm. Uh, I did get a game in against another separatist player. That I will, I did I did try to record for this, but unfortunately, I recorded the wrong screen. So there's just an hour and there's like an hour and ten minutes of silence. Nice, nice. The black screen. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm very very happy with Siege of Coruscant. Fun tech, Sean, and that I for some reason took this long to remember. Probe droids. They allow you to measure locks from them, right? And yeah. also one other ability. Jam. Jamming. Yeah. Which DBS 32C can now do on the back of a calculate. Yeah, it's perform a jam action, isn't it? Yeah. Um, is it still range so one measure. from the probe droids? Range one from the probe droids. Okay. There's no bullseye to go from, but probe droids get pretty damn far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's. Uh, that's fair. And I was just, I was just thinking, like, wait, this is gonna be like, this is actually useful, like, really useful, because you're doing an action you want to. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. I kind of like that. Well, I won't want to fly against it, but... I mean, I think also the reason it's simply so hard to remember is because, like, in 2.5, probe droids have not really been a thing. Yeah, that's fair. Well, we'd now better wrap are. it up there for this week. Yes. Uh, we will be back, as always, next week with something. I'm not going to make any promises something. this term, because, you know, it'll probably end up wrong anyway. Uh, so, as always, we'll just say thanks for listening. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, I mean, well, we'll see if I can get my Need for Speed list on the go. I've got a fun Need for Speed list. Nice. Need for Speed, way. Yeah. Catch you guys later. Anyway, ta-ta.